Continuing on the custom card review streak, we're going to be talking about a baseball Goku coming in from Sam. But before I go ahead and read the message inside the email for Sam's custom card, go ahead and send me custom cards through bhdevcustomcards at gmail.com so I can eventually get to your card in the near future while I'm getting all these older custom cards out the way. January 8th, 2024. We finally made it to 2024 for custom card reviews. Now, for some of the people that have been keeping up with my custom car reviews, this is a big milestone. The fact that I'm catching up to uh, this year's cards is huge. I got to clap it up. You guys got to clap it up for me. This is... This is beautiful. This is just beautiful. So Sam says a meme card that might be as good as April Fool's in Bulma. Thought the concept was funny with a baseball Dragon Ball Super episode already existing. Hope you enjoy smiley face. Absolutely, Sam. We're going to go ahead and take a look right now at this baseball Goku. So he's super physical. And of course, he is a easy a free to play April Fool's unit. And of course, it's a blue Goku. I do like the art, by the way. So Universe Seven's strongest pitcher. <sighs> You know what they could do? They could do a Vegeta and they could do a Goku baseball card. That would be fire. You guys remember those uh those Budo 10? Uh the little Pixel Budo 10 um April Fools cards? They can do that exact same like format but for Blue Goku and Blue Vegeta as baseball cards. That would be That would be fire. That I would be absolute fire. And as you guys know, I I love baseball. It's my favorite sport. <laughs> His stats are as shown, and his leader skill is Reps Universe 7 3 key and 77% of the stats. And his super attack effect, he gains 50% attack and defense one turn while doing immense and having a 50% chance to stun, so he has a good super attack effect. He also gets 150% attack and defense at the start of the turn. He gets an additional 100% attack and defense when performing a super attack. Nice. And he gets one key up to five with each attack performed. And he also gives all allies two key and 20% attack and defense. That is nice. Yeah, he's a support type unit. And he gives an additional 30% attack and defense to Reps Universe 7 characters. So he can be giving Reps Universe 7 characters 2 key and 50% attack and defense. Monstrous support for a free-to-play April Fool's Day unit. That is, that's, that's good. He also has a 70% chance to perform an additional super for each Reps Universe 7 category character on the team. Up to 3 super attacks. Okay. And he has a 70% chance to counter key blast super attacks with tremendous power and his links are same warrior race all in the family super saiyan tough as nails warrior gods godly power shattering the limit now low-key he could have had prepared for battle hmm i think he could have had prepared for battle and the only reason i say that is because i mean would you technically count a baseball match as a as a battle that's kind of how i see it i like the card i gotta say i like the card you can't be too harsh on like a april fool's day easy a free to play i think it's cool i think it's cool you don't expect to like just run this character and it's destroying all the toughest content this is just like a cool like nifty novelty card he's and he doesn't seem too shabby he doesn't seem like too shabby either. It's like he does have the little nullification. He could do up to three additional supers. Like a 70% chance to launch an additional super for each Reps Universe 7 character on the team. So he can do up to three plus supers from his passive. He has a nullification for Key Blast super attacks. Of course, that's a, that's a chance. He can give Reps Universe 7 characters two key and 50% attack and defense. He builds up key very easily. He gets an attack and defense above from his passive to a super attack effect. And he also has stun chance provided you can stun a specific boss um let me double check his links it does make sense now that he's building up key very easily considering that he does not have prepare for battle it's nice that he has all the family of course i'm pretty sure it's a defensive link if i remember correctly um isn't tough as nails a defense and damage reduction link i don't quite remember i think warrior gods is a attack link and same <clears throat> same warrior race excuse me and Saiyan Warrior Race, and as well as Super Saiyan, right? I don't exactly remember for Saiyan Warrior Race, but Super Saiyan is obviously a tackling, right? That just makes a whole lot of sense. So, cool card. I I mean, a support type unit that can do up to three plus supers in his passive. So, technically, he can do five supers because he does his first super. You get lucky. I mean, you get crazy lucky. He does three supers from his passive. And then he does his fourth, well, not his fourth, his fifth super from his potential system. Excuse me, guys. 
Um, so you can do up to five plus supers. He's a monstrous support for a free to play easy a unit. Uh, he has key blast nullification chance, which is nice too. Attack defense buff from his pass to a super attack effect. This is pr this card is pretty much straight to the point. Pr pretty much, it's not really much to say about this card. Cool card. Um, you can't be too hard on a card like this because it's a free to play easy area unit. You're not gonna expect the unit like this to have like 60%, 70% damage reduction. Um, maybe like a 70%, 80% chance to dodge. Like of course it has a 50% chance to dodge with an additional 30% chance to dodge. You're not gonna expect a unit like this to be crazy busted. Just a little fun, nifty novelty unit. Cool card. Uh, much more to say about. It. Like look at this. That's that's cool. So I think that's about it. This was a super quick video. What's that? Six minutes? Hey, in and out. I'm not talking about the burger. <laughs> I appreciate you guys watching. You guys are the best. I'll catch you guys next video. And I love you all. Send me custom cards to bhdevcustomcards at gmail.com so I can review your custom card in the future. While I'm getting all these older custom cards out of the way, us being in 2024 for these custom cards is beautiful it's just absolutely beautiful and i think that's the second time i'm doing this video but yeah uh join the 24 7 discord server the link is down below in the description for you guys to join i think that's about it peace